Hey guys, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. Today I'm redoing my grip video. I've got a little bit of Karate Kid going on in here, like uh, remember Mr. Miyagi, wax on, wax off? Well, I'll tell you, I've got all the tools to drive every single point home about the grip right here, right now. So let's start with the lead hand, the top hand. Which, let's say if I'm a right-handed golfer, I'm going to hold the club like I'm holding an umbrella. So you notice when I hold an umbrella with my thumb on top, the the club is passing right through, right, where the fingers join the hand, the, the heel pad is on top. So what if I'm holding a suitcase? So you notice if I hold my suitcase, there's the suitcase handle, right? Notice how it intersects my hand. There's my suitcase handle. There's the heel pad on top. What about the railing of a balcony? So if I'm going to grab the railing of a balcony, or let's say the seat of the cart here, notice I'm going to be grabbing it right there with my fingers, apply the fingers to the heel pad, and I'm able to pull that off, right? So that's how it works. Grab the railing, grab the suitcase, grab the umbrella, all right? So you'll notice right here above your thumbs, a little cavity, call the snuff box. This is where your wrists are going to hinge. So you set the snuff box on top. Notice the club face is nice and square. There's my snuff box. So when I hinge up and down, the club face stays nice and square. Okay? Now, let's do the bottom hand. All right? Now, the bottom hand is very, very particular. Uh, let me get my, uh, my setup here for my kitchen. <laughs> You're going to love this one. All right. So here we are in the kitchen. We got our carving knife cutting board and we're going to be applying pressure through either a nice thick potato or a nice juicy crisp apple so I'm applying pressure through there you notice the pressure point that I'm using is right underneath the knuckle here there all right so that's what applies pressure to the knife you see where that is so notice how the thumb just comes alongside and just rests across the knife here. I'm not really holding the knife with this thumb right there. And you notice these three fingers are leveraging against that pressure point. So you see that? I can take the, the, the thumb off and I can still apply some amazing pressure. So the thumb is just there to stabilize and I can apply some nice pressure. Now, turn that 90 degree or four, like 45 to 90 degrees, actually 90. And I'm going to slice my potato or my apple this way now so you can see how I'm applying pressure with the underside of that index finger again. See that? There. And the thumb comes alongside. And notice how the three fingers are leveraging against that pressure point. There. So there's the golf grip. This is what it should look like when you're looking down on the club. So let's have a look at how that relates to the golf swing, shall we? Okay. So, handle of the suitcase, umbrella, handle of the railing. See, there's my railing, grab the railing. So you notice how the heel pad is on top. Then I bring the other hand over. I'm getting ready to cut, All right? So there we go. So let's say I'm cutting an apple in this direction here with my blade, all right? So I've got the pressure of the blade. The blade is this way, and I got my pressure against it. This is what it's going to look like. So if you look at my index, how it's hooked on, the thumb comes alongside. So this thumb here doesn't hold the club at all, okay? It's just right alongside the index finger. You notice how airtight that is right in here. Okay, that's applying that pressure to the, to, the, to the shaft or to the handle of the club or against the blade. Now, for extra leverage, when I apply leverage with the right hand, the left hand is actually pushing in the opposite direction. The left hand is pushing this way. So if you look at my uh, arm leverage video, right, or uh, how to release the club video, I should say, you'll see how each hand leverages against itself in other disciplines like lacrosse and hockey and stuff like that, okay? So there's my completed grip. Now, 
I would prefer you start with all eight fingers on the club to really feel the leverage from each hand. And then if you want to overlap, you notice how I'm still using these fingers to wrap around the club. I never ever hold the club in my hand. See how my, my fingers are overlapping very widely across the thumb here? So you would never take a knife in the kitchen like this, right? You can't push down with this part of your hand. You're pushing down with the bony part of the hand. There's no bone here, okay? There. That's how you want it to feel around those fingers, all right? So if we look at the top of the swing, when I get to the top of the back swing, my club is resting underneath that knuckle, so I've got fantastic support at the top here. And my club is resting underneath the thumb of my left hand. So the, the pressure point of the left hand is the tip of the thumb, and the fingers are wrapping around that. And the pressure point is underneath the knuckle of my right hand, and the fingers are wrapped nicely around that. Okay? So combine this with the other, you know, videos that I have on grip, and we're all set. So now when I'm coming through the ball, it feels like, remember when we talked about the grass whip, the cutting the grass? So I'm going to give it a nice zip through the grass here. Okay? Now when I go to the ball, my focus is where am I cutting towards? I'm going to apply some nice effortless cutting pressure towards that target using the weight uh, of my, uh, of, uh, let's say I pretend I got a big heavy machete, use the weight of that machete. Here we go. And that was flush, flush, flush. Right on my target. Extremely happy with that. Perfect divot. So you notice how it just slices right through the grass in that divot. That's because I've got the pressure points that I need to get through there. Okay? So try Go cut some vegetables in your kitchen and really feel what your, what your hand is doing to apply that pressure. It's exactly the same in your golf swing, all right? This should really help you guys. I'll talk to you soon.